Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm the marketing lead for Jira Work Management. In this video, we're gonna be going over what Jira Work Management is and how you can use it to bring your teams together in one place to deliver work faster, more collaboratively and without headaches. Now, when most people hear Jira, they think bugs and sprints, releases and epics, they think software development teams. With so many companies whose engineers use Jira software every day, it makes sense. But last year, we launched a new version of Jira, reimagined it from the ground up for business teams. It's called Jira Work Management. And on its own, Jira Work Management is a friendly and intuitive solution for business teams to plan, track, and manage work all in one place. But more broadly, since Jira Work Management was built on the same foundation as Jira software, it allows work across business and technical teams to connect and enables you to collaborate in the same ecosystem without sacrificing your own ways of working. That's one of the unique advantages that Jira Work Management brings. Not only does it enable teams to work the way that's best for them, but it has this connective tissue between teams. So all of your work ties in together and ladders up to company level goals. And I almost forgot to mention, Jira Work Management is free for any user with a Jira software license. So if your team's already used Jira software, you can actually create a business project right now and get started with Jira Work Management today. All right, enough talking. Let me show you how Jira Work Management can help your organization scale by bringing all of your teams together in one place to deliver work end to end. And to do that, I'll walk you through an example of how cross-functional teams can use Jira Work Management together. And in this example, we'll be launching a new web page from start to finish. Now, the easiest way to get started is to create a Jira Work Management project, also called a business project. We've got dozens of templates designed for specific teams and use cases, so you can get started quickly. And these templates have already been pre-configured for you, so you really don't have to worry about any of the setup. You can just focus on the most important work, which is your project. Or if you don't want to use a pre-made template, you don't have to. You also have the flexibility to start from scratch with a blank template. For this example, though, let's start with the project management template. As you're creating your project, you got the option of company manage or team manage projects. So if it's important to have standardized processes across your organization and you want centralized control of everything from fields to workflows, then company manage projects is definitely the way to go. On the other hand, if you want to give your teams more autonomy and the ability to control their own processes, then you might want to consider team manage projects. Team manage projects give anyone in your team the power to create new projects quickly and customize their projects without involving an admin. And this really frees up time for admins and gives your teams the ability to work with more agility than they would with company managed projects. So for this project, I want to be able to customize my workflows, use a simpler configuration. So I'm going to go with team managed projects. Now, Jira Work Management has a variety of different views, so you can manage your work in different ways. We'll start with the list view. The list is our modern take on the spreadsheet. From here, it's easy to quickly create, edit, and add details about tasks in line without needing to open up items one by one. So I'll start by adding a few right now. Okay, great. Now that I've added some initial tasks to the project, I want to start to prioritize some of them. And the list view makes that super easy. I can quickly add or move around columns I care about, and I can sort or filter them to see exactly everything in the way that I want to. I'm also a visual person, and so sometimes it's easier to understand what work needs to be done when I can group it together. And with Jira Work Management, I can group work by different criteria like status or priority or assignee, which helps me understand work at a glance and move forward a lot more quickly than I could if I was just looking at a long list. And speaking of assignee, I can't launch a new web page on my own. So let's invite some people from different teams that'll be working on this project with me. We can do that quickly by hitting the invite button, adding their name or email, and giving them a role in our project. And as soon as we invited our teammates, now we can see their presence in real time in the project. I can see here that folks on my team are online and on the page. And not only can I see that they're on the page, but we can actually work together live through our new feature called collaborative mode. And this is just another step in our journey to transform JIRA into a tool where work happens. In collaborative mode, I can huddle with my teammates in real time, and it's perfect for remote team meetings where I can see edits happening live as we're talking. Now I don't have to ask, you know, who's going to add that or who made this change or keep hitting that F5 key and refresh to see if new tasks have been added. Now I can actually see these changes happening in real time. And speaking of collaboration, not only can I work with my closest teams on this project, but we can also collaborate across Jira Work Management and Jira software. So through the comments section, I can mention someone from the engineering team about the web page we're working on. And just like that, we can see one of our engineers commented back that they need more time than expected to build this new web page. 
Now, no one likes unexpected changes, but Jira Work Management lets me act quickly to keep things moving forward. So as a next step, I'm gonna hop into our calendar view to get a clearer sense of our deadlines and make an edit to the project. And the calendar is great because it gives you a visual by due date view of tasks and allows you to track work you've missed, stay on top of upcoming deadlines and get a quick glance of what the next few weeks look like. And we made it easy for users to create and edit tasks from directly within the calendar. So now we can update the due date of that design task without actually ever having to leave the calendar view. And what's great is that anytime you make a change to an item, it'll be reflected in every view in the project, regardless of the view that it was made in. And speaking of the design task, the design team can't actually get started on the new web page until they you know, understand from marketing about what assets are needed for the new page. No problem. That's where forms come in. We've made it super simple to build multiple forms so you can get the information you need from any other team all in one place. And without all of the Slack messages and back and forth emails and meetings where so many of these important details just get lost. And now with the design request form built, I can share it directly with the marketing team to fill out and their responses are gonna be added right into the Jira Work Management project so the design team can get started. And blockers like design requests for marketing are important to know ahead of time. And that's where the timeline view shines. The timeline helps you quickly understand how all your committed work aligns to the overall project and the dependencies that exist between them. So from the timeline view, we can see that the design team couldn't actually start their work until that marketing request had been submitted. And now with the marketing request submitted, we can hop into the board and start to track the status of the design work. Awesome. We can see on the board that the designs are now in progress. The board view is the simplest way to visualize the status of your team's work and the process that it flows through from end to end. And each column in the board is customizable and it can be adapted based on use case, whether you're launching a new web page like we're doing now or something totally different like running new employee onboarding. And we also made improvements to the board too to make it easier to act on cards and context. So it's faster to do things like move the cards to the top or bottom of the column in a few clicks. And you can also customize the information that shows up in each card. So your team only sees what's relevant for them, whether that's due date or labels, assignee or other fields. And the beauty of Jira work management being built on the Jira platform is it makes it easy to connect work, not only across business teams like marketing and design, but across to your dev teams and Jira software as well. So once the design team moves their tasks to done on the board through automations and through some magic, we can automatically change the status of the engineering ticket from waiting for design to ready to build in Jira software. And this is the kind of cross team workflow in connection with Jira software that only Jira work management can provide. And speaking of cross team work, you can also use features like advanced roadmaps directly from Jira work management to see how work connects across all teams from both Jira software and Jira work management. And this is incredibly valuable when you want to look at the bigger picture and understand work happening and the dependencies that exist between them across the organization all in one place. And we can share advanced roadmaps or any of our views to teams across the organization through embedded smart links. So depending on your needs, you can embed timelines or boards or calendars, lists, forms, you name it, into any of Atlassian's tools. My personal favorite is to embed timelines into Confluence. It really helps me give more context to the work that's happening in my project. So when you're working on complex cross-team work like we're doing now, static screenshots of roadmaps get outdated so quickly and, and they can really throw teams off who aren't working you know, directly with you on the project. And so through the embedded smart link in Confluence, I can pair my written meeting notes, decisions and analysis with an inline real-time window into the work that's happening on our project. And with all eyes on the new web page launch, I got to make sure I deliver. So as the work on the project progresses, I use a summary page to get a helicopter view of the health of the project. The summary page is perfect for team leads and managers to easily get a snapshot of the team's progress, our priorities, and, and our workload. And having this reporting helps remove blockers. It helps me celebrate wins with the team and plan ahead to bring predictability and improve processes over time. So thanks to Jira Work Management, we were able to bring teams across the organization together to deliver an important initiative, our new homepage, and we did it with visibility, efficiency, and most importantly, without headaches. And we're so excited with where Jira Work Management is today, but we've also got some exciting features coming up on our roadmap that I want to tell you about. First up, we're expanding integration. So for one, we're building deeper integrations with the Atlassian tools you're already using from Confluence to Trello to Jira software and more. And here we've integrated project pages from Confluence to give more context to your projects directly from within Jira Work Management. 
And here we've integrated team goals with Atlas to make sure all of your work ladders up to company-wide initiatives. And not only are we expanding first-party integrations, but we're also expanding our integrations with your most used tools outside of Atlassian. So we can bring all of that information your team needs together into one place. And last but not least, we're making Jira work management a little bit easier on the eyes and more accessible with dark mode. So here's a sneak peek of our views in dark mode from the list to the board and the calendar. All right, everybody, thanks for listening. I hope you learned a little bit more about how Jira work management can help your organization deliver at scale. Now all that's left for you to do is try it out. You can do so by setting up a new free instance, or if you already have Jira software, you can create a new business project in Jira work management right now and get started. Last but not least, we would love to hear from you on what you'd like to see next. So feel free to reach out to us through the Alaskan community. Thanks so much.